Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us for Way 31 News at 6. I'm Nikhil Williams. And I'm Dan Schaefer. New developments in the shooting death of a Decatur man by police. Today, we are hearing for the first time from one of Steve Perkins's family members. Perkins died Friday after being shot by police outside his home. Aliyah is investigating the Decatur Police Department's use of lethal force in this shooting. We're going live now to Way 31's Paige Meyer. Paige, you spent the day talking with Perkins' friends and family. What had they told you? Yeah, that's right. They all told me the same thing, that Steve Perkins was a loving, religious family man. Now, today I spoke with Perkins' cousin, Mac Hampton, who told me he had a numb feeling when he found out someone who he referred to as his little brother was shot and killed by police. He said he couldn't believe that someone so close and so impactful in his life would be taken away. Hampton said that anyone who knew Steve would agree he was a great person. When he walked in the room, it instantly changed into a positive vibe just because of who he was. And it was effortless. It wasn't like he was trying. It wasn't like he was, you know, you know, making himself be this type of person. It was who he was born to be, you know, just a good, solid human being. Hampton says everyone who knew Steve should remember and cherish every moment they had with him. A vigil is being held tomorrow at the Decatur Police Department to honor Steve Perkins' life. It will begin at 7.30 p.m. Reporting live, Paige Meyer, Wait 31 News.